Welcome back to another Maintenance Monday with me, James, and my 1983 Smith Wave. Today we're talking timing lights. I've got my SP Tools timing light here. This is one from their professional range. Correct ignition timing is crucial for a car that's easy to start, easy to drive, has great fuel economy, and performs properly. So using a proper timing light like this is a must. Now this one has a lot of additional functions over the standard timing light you're used to seeing, but SP Tools have a range of timing lights to suit different needs and budgets. Some of the additional features of this timing light includes RPM and adjustable advance, so you can get it degree perfect, and it also measures dwell as well. Now the SP Tools timing lights have a positive and negative clamp, which means they're powered by the vehicle's battery, so you don't have to go out and buy new D batteries every time you go to use it and it doesn't turn on. And of course, the inductive clamp for cylinder one ignition lead, which has a directional arrow on it heading to the spark plug. Make sure you put it on in the correct direction or it will not work. Now this timing light has an adjustable advance meter so you can get it millimeter perfect to the degree. But your basic timing light will just flash and your car will usually have a series of indication marks on your crank pulley along with an indicator to time them up to. Now when setting your own ignition timing, make sure you refer to the dealer's recommended settings because getting this wrong can be disastrous and some vehicles will have certain precautions to take, like obviously the vehicle being up to its operating temperature. You may have to bridge two terminals like some of you 80 Toyota's owners or on a car like this as a distributor, you may be required to remove the vacuum line from the ignition event. Now I've gotten my car running here and you'll see that the end of the timing light is flashing. It is basically a strobe light. It flashes once every time there is a spark sent to cylinder one. And it has a strobe effect. When I point this at the ignition marks on the crank pulley, meaning that I can see it sitting still visually and line it up with its mark. With this car, I'm gonna be rotating the distributor to either advance or retard my ignition timing until my marks line up. Once you've got your ignition timing where you need it to be, lock up any adjustment like a distributor that you had to loosen to make the adjustment. Recheck the ignition timing to make sure it hasn't moved while you're tightening that up. And then go for a test drive and make sure the car performs well. If you're setting your own ignition timing, make sure you refer to the manufacturer's specifications as it is absolutely critical and there's a lot of poor advice on ignition timing out there on the internet forums. Again, if you want to shop the SP Tools entire range of timing lights, from their entry level one right up to the professional level one you see here, head to sparesbox.com.au. I'm James, and this has been another Maintenance Monday with my 83 Julietta.